centering prayer is a movement towards the center of our being. Of course, there are many ways of doing this. Almost everything created or that exists is a stepping stone to a deeper, further, or a mystery that is beyond it, that is the source of it, and that rests in it. In this perspective, uh, God is present in everything. Uh, and beyond everything at the same time. So you have to be careful whatever you say about the mystery or the ultimate reality of God because you can never say just one thing about God since he's everything at once and hence is the resolution of all opposites but in such a way that you can never name it. And so all the great mystics of all the traditions, as far as I know, all say there is no name for this ultimate reality. It just is. And it is in such a way as to be in relationship with everything else that is, since it's the source of everything that exists. So it's not surprising then that, that uh, the Christian religion, at least, uh, considers the Trinity as the very central and basis of, of all its religious uh, ideas and practices and, and uh, perspectives. And so this morning, uh, we want to introduce you in some way to a method that comes from earliest Christian times and is pre-shadowed in the, in the uh, uh, biblical or the Hebrew Bible. And that is that, that God is, is available, close, personal. And personal in a way that is quite awesome. Uh, I said at the very beginning here that uh, the centering prayer is a movement towards the center of our being. Mm -hmm. and, and so the practice consists largely in moving from our ordinary psychological awareness, everyday awareness, to the spiritual level of our being, which also includes the uh, ego, religious self, you might say, and then a true self that emerges as the ego and false self diminish. So the diminishments of the false self, our self-made self in early childhood, is, is what begins to put cracks in our defenses that keep out the deep or experiential awareness of the divine presence. 